0.1, pitching was 0.7, wave height was 1.2, uh, wind speed is 7 knots and 21 degrees Celsius outside. A spectacle that features performers from all around the world and every day competes with Mother Nature. A unique venue that can only be found on Royal Caribbean International's Oasis class ships. This is the Aqua Theatre. All of my training was amazing, but as soon as I stepped into Aqua, it opened a door for me where it was like, wow, I didn't realize I would be able to do this. What it means to be an Aquacast member is, you know, a screw loose, for sure. If you're not city, you're not cast. <laughs> This venue, because it's made on a ship, comes with a heavy price tag. Roughly, just the venue is about $35 million. So we're talking a significant amount of money that's been actually invested in this. Uh, because especially when you put something on a ship, it needs to work outside. So it's exposed to the elements. The pool is 15 meters wide, length 5 meters, and it's about 5.5 meters deep. We have a three lifts that separately moves. We have a trampoline that moves. We have a two diving platform that moves from three meter. And of course, we have a dives from 10 meter. And we have a two 17 meter platforms for the high dives. What comes to my mind when I think about the aqua theater is epic. It's a really, really, really cool venue. People might have seen videos of the aqua theater, but until you've actually stepped foot in it, performed in it or watched it, I don't think you understand like what it's really, really about. In every moment of the show, underwater, there is a four people. Then we have a two people that are running the deck truck. We have a sound technician, light technician, production manager, automation technician, and three to five rigging specialists that run the flying and foil automation. We're talking about 15 people, maybe 20, that are any given minute of the show, it's actually needed to run this show. This vast team of technicians is warranted due to the multiple elements that feature in the show. This allows all of the signature acts to be performed cohesively and safely, night after night. system in the aqua theatre and um, it allows the performer to fly across the audience and they can move not just up and down forward and back but all around the full venue. When you're sat in the audience it is amazing because you're just looking around and someone is flying literally over your head. Personally, 
I love synchronized swimming part in this show. This show is using synchronized swimming for really genius way. I feel it combines synchronized swimming with this venue in a way that's really creative. It's incredibly beautiful. So this show is quite uh, simple, let's say. So you, from the audience, you can focus on what they do in the performance. Cycline is kind of a new sport and it basically is a line uh, between two points. What you want to do is like cross from A to B and while you're doing that cross uh, you can do some tricks, you can be creative. In the cruise ship you have the factor of the ship moving. Sometimes it's okay. You don't feel because this is the biggest, one of the biggest cruise ships in the world, so you don't feel so much waves. But exist days that you really feel your body start to be pushed to one side or another one. One thing I like about the show is a lot of freedom within the choreography, but there's still a structure. It gives you room to have personality in your dance. The core of it starts with the music, and that was, I would say, the core of why I started dancing. You know, there's so many impressive things going on. And as a dancer, we're on stage, so we see the reactions, and we can we can play off those reactions as well. There are a lot of differences between diving in a competition and diving in a show. As a diver, being able to be at the front of the stage, having just done a dive, and get that applause, that feels cool having like had that adrenaline rush of you know doing the high dive and you, and you the the vista you have of all the people sat there the high diving platform here is terrifying the pool is it, it it's a kind of jelly bean shape and it looks like a jelly bean from up there you know you think what i'm going to land in that so many times in the show like getting that feeling of like what am i doing isn't this awesome From all different parts of the globe, these 20 individuals with 20 different stories to tell will come together to tell one more 50 minute long story. Most will arrive as strangers, but after 10 months and close to 200 shows later, they'll all leave as a family. A family that will always be ready for showtime. One minute to cast, one minute, one minute, four and five. The way we come onto the stage is the way that the audience are like, wow, that's crazy. It's just, to me, that is the magic of the actual theatre. My favourite aspect of this show is how amazing the audience reaction is to every single show we do. If you didn't see it, you don't have a clue what I'm talking about. One, two, one, two, point, check. 
Pitcha, 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 poo. Oh, wait. Ah. <laughs> and I, I remember. Um, When you're when you're a Freddy guy like me, you're just really, really nice. Really nice. You couldn't be nicer, actually. So peak niceness. But, but yeah, but but the right amount, obviously. You know. Honestly, I can eat fried eggs every day. Like four eggs is easy for me. <laughs> I love eggs. <laughs> When you've got to live your Britney Spears fantasy, you can just, you know. <laughs> and I really like your bunch. It's a, uh, it's do my mood to better. <laughs> we are the family. Kind of awkward, really, in a weird, dysfunctional way, proper family. <laughs>